About two to three weeks ago, I made a video called I Created a God with Just $15. And in that video, we created Fernando McJutterfield. I'd say the best way to describe Fernando was pretty much just Frankenstein of the MLB. He had Aaron Judge's power, the contact of Jeff McNeil. I'm pretty sure the defense of Whit Merrifield and then the body and speed of Fernando Tatis Jr. Pretty much what made Fernando McJutterfield. He's kind of become a legend on the channel. A lot of you guys have been wanting him. And I'm bringing him back today. And we're going to go ahead and put him on the Detroit Tigers. And if you guys are excited for this, then be sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. Let's go for like, let's go for 1,300 likes today on this video. I believe. And the reason why I picked the Tigers was because they pretty much had the worst season last year and they need a lot of help. We tried rebuilding them already. We did pretty good, but I mean, they still need a lot of help. So I decided why not put a future Hall of Famer on the team. And here he is. Fernando McJutterfield, baby. 6'3", 18 years old, a 99 overall. The guy's looking like a complete beast. Now, the big thing is, is that going to be enough? Because we're pretty much doing a Tigers rebuild just with Fernando McJutterfield on the team. So is Fernando going to be good enough to carry this team though? That's what I don't know. Comment down below if you guys think you will or if he won't. Again, I'm real skeptical. I mean, 199 can do a lot of stuff, but that's a lot of weight on this poor dude's back. He's carrying boulders pretty much. But besides Fernando, I haven't changed anything else. It's pretty much just the 2020 Tigers if we even get to play in 2020. Like what's going on there? But it's pretty much just them plus Fernando. So here we go. Let's see how the heck we can do. And please, Fernando, I'm gonna need you to do good, my guy. Carry these freaking boulders to a championship, please. All right, a little bit of a mid-season update. We are 18 of 42. Yeah, so that's that right there there. Fernando's doing fantastic though. Through June, he's got 21 home runs, 51 RBIs, and a 306. But sadly, in this man's 6'3", 185 pound frame, he can't carry everybody. Because if we take a look, we got Victor Reyes, not doing horrible, but still could do a lot better. We got Harold, who's actually doing the second best on the entire team. Fernando, of course, being a beast. Then Jonathan Scope, sucking. Miguel Cabrera, sucking. Cameron Maven, doing okay. Corey Bonifacio, sucking. Asa Romine, doing decent. And then Nico Goodrum, doing decent. Then we got CJ Crone, sucking. Christian Stewart, sucking. Jake Rogers sucking. Yeah, just everybody sucks. Okay. And then if you think it couldn't get worse, we go over to the starting pitching. We got Matthew Boyd. Definitely not doing that great, if I'm being honest. Definitely not great. And then we got Zach Godley. Look at that at 6.23. More like freaking Zach Satan. And then if you think it couldn't get any worse, we go down one more. Yeah. Yeah. Alexa, define garbage. Garbage is usually defined as discarded animal and vegetable matter, as from a kitchen, refuse. For more, Ask me to give you more definitions for garbage. And or Spencer Turnbull, okay? God dang. Then we got Michael Fulmer, who's just not doing good either than Jordan Zimmerman, dude. The highest paid pitcher on this entire team, actually the highest paid player pretty much, besides Miguel Cabrera on this entire team, posting up a 5.5, yeah. And then the bullpen just, oh my God. Alex Wilson is the best pitcher on this team. You heard it here first. Alex Wilson, a 72 overall. Oh my God, wait a minute. Somebody actually wants this trash. Oh my God, you're out of your mind. Josh, how are you doing? Actually, doesn't even matter. Just yes, take him, please. We somehow got rid of a guy that has a 10 ERA. What type of miracle work just happened? Either way, keep going. This is going to be tough. I'm telling you guys right now, this is going to be tough. Literally one minute later. Well, real quick, it's a trade line, and my dude Fernando has close to 40 bombs, okay? But pretty much the one thing that's going to save this team, I think personally, is me assembling the franchise Avengers, all right? Pretty much the most underrated and glitchiest players in all of franchise. That's gonna be the thing that has to save this team. Like by far, I'm not even kidding. Like by freaking far. So number one, we gotta try to go out and get Ian Happ. And we'd be able to get him for Christian Stewart, Victor Reyes, and Zach Godley. You know what? I'm not gonna lie, we're kind of giving up quite a bit here, but from what I know about Ian Happ, it's definitely gonna be worth it. So there we go. Got a new center fielder in Ian Happ. Now we got quite a few more guys that we gotta trade. The next thing's gonna be getting Jorge Polanco for third base. Cause again, this dude's so broken. So he might as well just take advantage. We got Jamer, Willie, and John going over for Jorge Polanco. That sounds fantastic. And now for catcher, since Austin Romine isn't doing as great as I would like, we're gonna be trading him away for Travis Darnold. And who else could we even freaking get right now? Because there's so much that we need. Like, is there even a chance I can get Mike Yastrzemski? Like, please tell me. Like, please tell me there's a small chance. Oh my. Oh my God, hold on. Oh my God, there it is. We're getting Mikey Stremski. Perfect, baby. Literally one minute later. And then the last guy for year one that we gotta get is gonna be Alex Wood. So there we go. Alex Wood coming over as well. That's it for year one. Oh my God. So you're telling me we went out and got Hori Polanco, Travis, Mikey Stremski, Alex Wood, and then Ian Happ as well. Oh my God. Without giving up like any insanely good prospects. That's kind of nuts.
it. All right, let's go ahead and keep going. Oh my God. 569 seconds later. All right, so to end off 2020, we finished off 71 and 91. Definitely not as good as I was hoping. But hey, again, we're the Tigers. So we're definitely not going to be crazy good right now. But real quick, I got to see if our dude Fernando won the AL Rookie of the Year. I have to guess that he's going to, but let's see. All right, here we go. The 2020 awards. Let's take a look. We got the AL Rookie of the Year. There we go. Fernando McJetterfield, baby. And for the MVP, just a hair behind Mike Trout. Are you kidding me, dude? Look how good Fernando did. A 301, 52 home runs, and 129 RBIs. Dude, that's disgusting. He's my age. He's 18. I need to know what type of horse tranquilizers my dude Fernando's been rocking, okay? Because I need him. He's hitting 52 home runs in the MLB. Like, oh my God. Either way, the offense is looking a lot better with the new addition, so that's pretty good. We're making like good steps in the right direction. For the pitching staff, though, we still definitely need a lot of help because these guys just aren't cutting it. So let's go ahead and see what's going to happen in the offseason. I'm hoping for the best, but... You never know. All right, the start of free agency is happening right about now. And we got two guys that could actually help us quite a bit. We not only have Corey Kluber, who's definitely going to be a big help if we can get him, but we also got Trevor Bauer. Now, I don't know if Trevor Bauer is going to be like the best pick for us right now because we kind of need that rock, like that dude that's going to be really, really good. And I mean, don't get me wrong, Trevor Bauer could be that guy. I mean, look at 2018, but ever since then, it hasn't really been insane. It's been decent, but not insane. Because like a 4.5 ERA, at least for people like the Tigers, is not going to be insanely easy to kind of have. So I think right now, I'm gonna go ahead and go with two years for Corey Kluber. And yo, right now we're really about to hit different because we're about to go crazy with these relief pitchers. So first guy, of course, I'm gonna be getting is Dylan Patances. If we can't get him, that's gonna suck, okay? And it's actually looking like we're not gonna be able to get him. Hold up. Two years, 14 million with a player contract, please. Okay. There we go. That is definitely looking a little bit better. Nick Vincent, you're going to be getting contract too, my guy. 3.2 coming over. Then Liam Hendricks, Ken Giles, and Brad Hand probably, if we honestly can afford that. Let's see. Liam Hendricks actually did not do good last year. Okay. Going to go ahead and not get Liam Hendricks. What about Ken Giles? How did he do? Ken did decent. Okay, I'll go ahead and get him. Again, a three-year contract for let's go with 27. And then good old Brad Hand, the dude that always kind of ruins my postseason appearances. Let's hope that he's not going to do that in this rebuild, but let's see what happens, dude. We just got to get him. We got to get that good lefty in the Bullpen. So it honestly has to happen. And you best believe I'm never going to get Sean Doolittle. This dude is worse than Brad Hand for me. So I'd rather take my chances on Brad Hand. And now I'm pretty sure that's going to be about it. Third base is covered. Second base is covered. First base... Ooh. Now, if I could get like Carlos Santana on a good contract for just one single season, I'm going to do it. If I can even get Anthony Rizzo on a good contract, I will do it. But he wants 10 million. What about Carlos Santana? How much does he want? 10 million as well. God dang it. I honestly do not think we can afford it. Can we afford like Edwin Encarnacion possibly for a season? Hopefully 4 million. Oh, that's it right there. Yeah, please. There we go, Edwin. Let's go. And I think that's going to be it for 2020 for agency. Let's hope that we can get everybody that we want. So first off, we get Brad Hand. That's what I'm talking about. Next we get Corey Kluber. Okay, perfect. Come on, keep going. Ken Giles goes to the Cubs. The Cubs are actually getting so stacked up. We get Dylan Patances though. But yeah, the Cubs are getting so stacked up. In this offseason alone, they got JT Ramuto, Mookie Betts, and now Ken Giles. That's disgusting. Okay, I gotta be honest. That's just disgusting. All right, I think we pretty much got everybody else that we wanted. Let's take a look if there's any other pending offers and there isn't. Okay, it looks like we went ahead and got everybody. All right, real quick, let's go ahead and run through the new additions. So now pretty much the only offensive upgrade that we got was Edwin Encarnacion. I think that he's gonna do pretty good for us, but the pitching is definitely the biggest thing that we changed. So we got Corey Kluber now. In the bullpen right now, we also got Nick Vincent, Dylan Batantis, and Brad Hand. So let's see how we do. And after one season and a pretty considerable amount of money later, we're 41 one and 20. That's pretty solid. It looks like the addition of Fernando McJutterfield is really paying off for these guys. I pretty much found the key to the Tiger success. Okay, if they want to pay me for this, that's perfectly fine. Okay, just pretty much make like the MLB Frankenstein in the lab and there we go. You're perfect. But either way, we're 52 and 25. We're going absolutely nuts right now. Let's keep this thing going. I'll see you guys around the tread headline and let's see if there's anything that we even have to do. All right, so we're back in the tread headline of 2021. Let's go ahead and get this stuff started. So right now, really the only thing in my opinion that we need is starting pitching and a right fielder. That's about it. And I know I've gotten this guy quite a bit recently, but he's so freaking good. So we got to continue it. We're going to go ahead and get Trey Mancini for right field. Like, I mean, it just works out too good. He's so freaking solid. And now we got to go out and get one more guy for the starting rotation. I just feel that we can't have Daniel Norris in here anymore. He's just not as good as I was hoping. So we're going to go ahead and go out and get somebody way better. And that, of course, is going to be my guy, Yanni Chirinos. This dude is so good in this game. It's actually kind of insane. Right now, he's an 86, but this dude is killing it this year. Man, 17 and 3, has 142 innings pitched and a 1.89 on the ERA. So let's be honest. The guy's a stud. Let's just get him. So there we go. We also might get one guy for the bullpen. I think we probably should, if I'm being honest. 
And I'm thinking we got to get a lefty. So the number one guy that I personally want is going to be Aaron Bummer. Now getting him is a completely different thing. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that, but if we could possibly swing it, that's going to be perfect for us. And there we go. That was actually a lot easier than I thought. Since we're not going to be using Dual Lugo, like pretty much anytime soon, it makes a lot of sense that we trade him for somebody that's going to help the team a lot more. So there we are. Perfect. All right. Now with that, we're good. Like we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and finish out 2021. I'll be seeing you guys at the end of the year. I'm guessing we won over 90 games this year. Okay. I'm just saying it. I'm guessing we won over 90. And in the first week of September, we are, well, actually going on a little bit of a losing streak, but we're back now. We won over 90. Perfect. But we still didn't make it in the postseason. Okay. Had to be by a game. What do you know? It's by a game. Oh my God. Look how freaking close this is. Again, it's not an RGS video unless we are a game behind. That's... <laughs> That's annoying. That's so annoying. Awards now. Let's just take a look. Gold gloves going to Nico and Fernando. Fernando did fantastic once again. I just feel like I gotta point that out. I mean, look how good this dude did. It's disgusting. Ian Happ as well did very good. Like a lot of these dudes, fantastic. But God dang, bro. God dang. By one and a half games from the top spot and pretty much a half game from the second spot. That's just stupid. Either way, let's just go ahead and keep this thing going. That's so annoying. All right, well, now the biggest thing is gonna be us probably getting a first baseman and maybe one other guy for the bullpen. And that's pretty much gonna be about it. So at first base, we got nobody. Okay, that's good to know. At third base, base. We could make something work with this, actually. Hold up. How much money do we even have? The Tigers can actually make some bank when they're winning. And we just came off one of our best seasons in a long, long time. I would assume that we can afford at least another $30 million contract or at least another $30 million a year. So with that 1000% accurate knowledge, we're just going to go ahead and get Chris Bryant, dude. If we can actually pull off us getting Chris Bryant, then I don't know what the heck is going on with this game. Seven years, $217 million. Let's see if we can get him. Please, come on. And the Cubs got Lindor too. What the heck is going on? The Rays got Syndergaard. Okay, but come on. And Chris Bryant going to the Tigers, dude. Seven years, $217 million, bro. That's so much money. That's so freaking much money. I mean, I said I wanted a guy for the bullpen, but now I really don't think we're going to need one anymore. So yeah, I'll be seeing you guys in 2022. All right, well, here we go. 2022, let's go ahead and get this thing started. This team looks disgusting, okay? We now have McJutterfield and Chris Bryant on the same team. This team is about to destroy everything, okay? Let's go. 2022 better watch out, okay? We're starting off a little bit cold, but believe me, we're going to heat up quite a bit. 569 seconds later. And this year, we're coming into the trade deadline red hot, 72 and 40. We're just going to go ahead and keep this thing going. I'm not trying to stop no hype train right now. Let's just go ahead and keep going. Literally one minute later. And oh my God, 102 and 60. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. And look at everybody else in the division. These disgusting pieces of trash. With us not making it last year by a game and a half. I'm so happy that all these guys sucked. Okay, let's go, baby. Any awards? No. All right. Well, Fernando McJetterfield is behind Mike Trout again. It seems like Mike Trout is just too freaking good. But either way, let's go ahead and take a look how everybody did. Jorge Polanco, fantastic. Ian Happ, just such a god. Fernando McJetterfield, just such a god as well. Chris Bryant, very, very good. Trey Mancini, fantastic. Mike Yastrzemski, look at that. 31 bombs and a 315. Dude, what the, like... I'm dumbfounded. The rotation looking good besides Casey Mize. Yikes. Let's go ahead and get into this, baby. Versus the Astros. Michael Fulmer versus Lance McCullers. Let's go. Game one. Lost that one. Two to eight. Wow. All righty. Yanni Torinos versus Jose. Come on. Three to four. Um, okay. Casey Mize versus Caleb Smith. Won that one. Game four. Alex Wood versus Rogelio. There we are. And come on. Michael Fulmer versus Lance McCullers. Michael Fulmer has been sucking. I think we actually have to go in for this one. If my dude Fulmer's sucking, I'm not going to keep him in there. Like, come on, boys. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Perfect. Solo bomb from Jorge Polanco. Keep it going. And a solo bomb from McJetterfield. Oh, my God. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. And a solo bomb from Yastrzemski. These guys are just so freaking good. All right. It's 3-0 right now. Top of the fourth. Bottom of the fourth now. All righty. Perfect. Top five. They're scoring some runs now. Alrighty, alrighty, that's it. Corey, get in there. They actually tied up the game right now. I can't believe that. Come on, boys, top seven. Come on, Trey Mancini, god dang it. And they actually scored a run. Oh my god, please. Guys, 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 two walks. Polanco, please, okay. Ian Happ, I need you right here. It's a pitching change. Alex Colome, come on. Fielder's choice. Fernando, okay. We walked it in to tie the game. Chris Bryant, I'm paying you so much money. Thank God, Chris Bryant, baby. That was easy. Let's go, dude. Grand Salami. And that's it. Just going to go ahead and let Corey Kluber take it. And we're taking on the Rays in the championship series. Wow. All right. Yanni Chirinos versus Noah Syndergaard for game one. Lost that one. All righty. Casey Mize versus Glasnow. 
Okay, lost that one too. Michael Fulmer versus Freddie Peralta. Okay, lost that one as well. And then Alex Wood versus Joe Musgrove. Okay, thank God we finally won one. Matthew Boyd, Ryan Yarbrough, and yeah, there we go. Oh my God. They better win their first World Series, I swear. They better. They got beat up by the Dodgers. Are you kidding me, dude? All right, we're going one more season, okay? One more. All right, here we go. I'll see you guys in 2023. We're going for that World Series. Let's see if we can get there. All right, here we go. 2023, this is the time right now. Let's get this thing going. 569 seconds later. Oh, what the heck happened here? We're 50 and 49. Like, what the heck just went wrong for this to happen? That's what I need to know. We're gonna go ahead and finish out the year because I still have hope, but that's a little nuts that that happened. Like, the fact we're so close to 500 is a little bit scary. Like, right? Like, that's a little bit insane. Insane after winning 102 games last year with pretty much the exact same team. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. Please, come on. Come on. Squeak it out. It doesn't look like that's going to happen. 84 and 78. That's insane. And you know what happened? Fernando got injured, dude. Oh my God. Fernando actually got injured. That's insane. Well, if we go ahead and look at the GM goals, we took the 2020 Tigers and flipped them around to lose, I guess, in the ALCS. Now, losing in the ALCS is not good, but the fact that we flipped them around in just two seasons is kind of nuts. So I would say Fernando McJetterfield can definitely turn a team around even if it's the worst team in baseball so that's kind of nuts either way i hope you guys enjoyed this if you guys want to see more of this type of stuff then be sure to like on the video subscribe down below i'll see you guys later follow me on twitter and instagram both links are down in the description and yeah that's pretty much it have a great rest of your day i'll see you guys later peace out